Hey everybody out there, my name is Dragnix and this is going to be a thank you video, a giveaway video, and a bunch of other information about the channel video. So, um, keep in mind I'll put some Killing Floor 2 in the background, it's a really good game. Um, it's in early access, but I mean, the polish is there for the parts that are there so that I enjoy it so far. Um, and stay around for a giveaway, I'll indicate towards the end of the video of exactly how to enter and there will be 10 games this time I'll be giving out rather than the normal 7. I actually have a back catalog of games to give out at this point, so hey, you know, it's always an interesting experience to see what people have to say and things like those lines. Okay, phone. Anyway, um, 300 subs and 40,000 views is significant in my mind in terms of it's not a huge number, I know, but it's just, you know, it's showing that the channel's growing, it's showing progress, it's showing that, you know, people are enjoying at least some of the content I'm doing on a daily basis, and I want to thank you guys for that. Um, definitely, definitely working towards, you know, refining the craft, and, you know, again, this is something I only started, you know, probably about September of last year at this point, so... It's something that I'm sort of learning on the fly after, you know, doing the whole software engineering thing for a while. And it's been an interesting experience. I really want to thank everyone, and I want to thank in particular those people who have watched and gave feedback on my channel on a daily basis. Um, those in the comment sections, those outside the comment sections. Um, people like Kaboni from Tech Raptor, who is always giving me kind of feedback, which is critical. It's critical in terms of improving and trying to realize that, hey, I'm not doing this right, or, you know, I missed a portion there, and trying to step back and say, hey, look, what's wrong with this? Uh, Captain Fluffy Muffin, Ravenox, Maxrell, Old Man Gamer, all you guys that, you know, I, there's, there's constant feedback um, that really helps in terms of... Um, information that I can use, Slender Dubs, um, and then real life friends, of course, Andrea, Rhea, Panzer, Corpin, Maximo, all you guys. Um, so thank you. Um, now, going forward, um, there is some changes I'm going to make to the channel in terms of an overall perspective. Uh, one of the things that I will be doing going forward is I will be implementing a calendar, a Google Calendar, within the next week so that you guys can see what's upcoming on the channel. Um, I do want to be sort of out there saying, hey, look, this is what I'm planning on looking at, and get, take your feedback on what games to take a look at upcoming. I do try to reach out to developers beforehand. It's more so about early access more than anything else rather than free games. Honestly, if, it, if there was an easier option to pay as a reviewer, I would because it just it makes it easier for me in terms of just you know I need the uh, the early access is pretty much the big thing about that. So now note plans can change at any moment. If a big situation comes up like the Valve mod situation, I know I was going to do a Titan Souls video in terms of the boss rush and try to get that done, but the whole Valve mod situation sort of took that out of out of perspective at that point and I felt I needed to talk about that more. So that will be an overall guideline of what I'm trying to do, but keep in mind that can change on any moment's notice. Now, I did indicate last time around that um, I was looking to do new thumbnail and artwork, and that is in the process, actually. Um, I did have uh, Panzer did reach out to me and ha reached out to an artist for me, and that work has been going on in the background. Uh, I think she has everything she needs at this point, so she, it's... She's in, I believe she's in school at this point, so it's like, okay, she's got other things that she's got to worry about, but she is working on it. And you should see a new logo, a new thumbnail, um, art hopefully coming soon at this point. Um, maybe bring a little bit more attention to videos and um, be a little bit more representative of what I'm doing right now in terms of the gaming scene. So keep that in mind, watch out for that. Now... Otherwise, the channel isn't going to change that much. I mean, my main focus has always been first impressions of games, and it's going to stay that way. Um, the format obviously will make a difference. What I've learned over the last 100 subs and 10,000 views is more so the when a format is appropriate. I know that when I took a look, for example, at, at a game like Enemy, I was definitely going to do a first impressions or a more edited footage of it, and then I realized halfway through it that it didn't make sense. Um, I'm starting to learn when mechanics work a lot better in terms of 
presentation. Like a game with a lot of complicated mechanics is hard to show off in terms of a, a, a cutted cut footage at that point it's very easy to you know okay this is this one this one is this one but they don't flow together well and so i've realized that and so i'm starting to become more aware of where games are easier to do a first impressions in terms of an edited cut on and which ones are not um roguelikes in particular i've noticed that okay i trying to do a first impressions in terms of an edited cut it doesn't work because they don't get that sort of natural progression of things. It sort of has a disconnect there. Um, so it will obviously make a difference what game I'm looking at in terms of the coverage. Now, let's tries are easier. Let's let's face it. It's it's easier to do one take, even though I do do a lot of preparation before I do that take in terms of like right in my hands right now or a bunch of note cards for me to of information to go over on the subject in question um you don't hit everything you don't naturally hit everything but you do as best as you can given the time frame um so it always depends on what the situation is now another thing to keep out keep in mind right now is the fact that i'm also doing work at tech raptor i will be doing some different things over at tech raptor i know that one of the bigger videos that sort of hit over there was my opinion video on the t total biscuit and uh titan soul situation and while i'd like to do first impressions more than anything else it was obvious that people sort of reacted to that strongly and so i am going to be a little bit more opinionated i guess i want to still keep towards the games section of it and i'm still going to try to focus on that but Realizing that the gaming industry is in such a weird situation right now that it feels like I have to sort of bring my perspective on it, especially because I do think I provide a unique perspective in some cases because I know some of the inner details of programming, some of the inner details of open source, for example, like with the Valve modding scene. So I will be continuing to give my opinions. It won't be that necessarily every week but um when it's appropriate i will say that if you do watch the tech raptor channel watch out for this thursday um this thursday should be an interesting video it's a video that i've had sort of in my mind for a while now and it's just sort of come to a head in terms of okay this is this is what i really want to do with this kind of idea i shouldn't say thursday i should say friday um i need to give myself an extra day on that one so watch out for that because that should be an interesting one now of course you're here for a giveaway and this time around i have 10 games to give away at this point um now how you enter um i know that this has been a popular format for other people and i think it will help me understand maybe some of the things that you guys want too um this is gonna the, the response video will be a q a video I will still randomly select people and I will do it via the game footage, but I will also, in conjunction with that, answer some questions that you guys have about the channel, about gaming, uh, pretty much about anything that you really want to ask at this point. Obviously, I have the right to sort of you refuse a question if you start asking about, you know, personal details that I'm feeling uncomfortable with. Yeah, I'll probably not answer that question. But regardless, the 10 games in question that are available. So, some of them are classics, some of them are newer, some of them are just my fa favorites of mine. So, first of all, of course, is my probably one of my favorite games of this year so far, Darkest Dungeon. I want to give that game to people, just because it's that good of a game. I'm, 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 as anybody in the Tech Raptor family will know, Darkest Dungeon will summon me from any place in terms of talking about it, because I really do think it is looking like it's going to be one of the games of the year, in my opinion. Now, it's in early access, of course, but it was one of the most polished games I've ever seen in terms of early access. Uh, Heavy Bullets, I did do a 90 second dash on that. In the 90 second dash format, I will get to a little bit more, I hope. It's a weird situation with YouTube and the monetization and just the amount of effort versus, you know, reward, I guess, in a sense, but I still want to do that format. It is working. Um, Tomb Raider, I have another copy of Tomb Raider to give away at this point, the 2013 remake. It's a really good game, really good way to redo a franchise at this point. Um, Hitman Absolution, I'm, not a man, I'm actually not a fan of the Hitman games. I'm. It's more, 
I don't know what it is. It just never really struck me. Um, I'm not a stealth person in particular, although I do like stealth in certain games. I always felt like the stealth at times just felt like just pattern recognition in terms of pattern matching, and that you sort of weren't rewarded if you just tried something creatively. Usually it would just end up, you know, you getting killed. But, you know, I will. I do have a copy of it that I want to give away. Uh, Pixel Piracy, another little roguelike. Um, I actually am going to do a video on that, hopefully in the sometime soon, because it's an interesting one. It actually turned me off at it, on it at first, and then it may be starting to come around on me, and we'll see. Um, Skullgirls, one of the best fighters that I've seen. It's actually getting more content as we speak. Um, they're adding new fighters. I think Robo Fortune will be coming out um, with a second encore with PS4, I believe, soon. Um, Deponia, uh, again, a 90-second dash I did on that. Very nice story, point-and-click adventure game. Speedrunners, it's a very good uh, co-op game. It's a fun time. It's just, it's chaos. It's massive chaos. Uh, Dishonored, again, it, that one is, I remember I just said that I didn't like stealth games. That one's a different story, though, because I felt it was one of the more fast-paced stealth games and did really reward creativity. So um, I do have a copy of that. And then, of course, Torchlight 2. Um, Torchlight 2 is a fantastic game with a lot of mods. Um, hopefully they don't become paid. But um, it's, it's a fantastic game, and I do want to give a copy of it away. So... Again, leave a question below to be entered in at this point and share this video with people who maybe maybe they would like to see some new content or maybe they just want to enter into a contest. Who knows? Um, but again, I want to thank you all for, you know, staying around and watching videos and just, you know, interacting with me in general. Um, it's been a fun time and I want to continue doing that at this point. All right, I will see you all later and it'll be about a week before I sort of compile all this and put it into a video so stay tuned hey thanks for watching if you have a chance leave some feedback and comments below if you like the video hit that like button and if you want more content like this hit that subscribe button this is dragnik signing off hoping that gaming brings as much fun to you as it does for me